you were out at shoot around as the Cavs get ready for the home opener against J.B. Bickerstaff, former head coach, um, and, and uh, the Detroit Pistons, who he now is the head coach of. Um, what did you What did you learn from um, from shoot around, and and what kind of um, reception do the players think J.B. Bickerstaff should get from the fans? Well, first and first off about the reception, right? Jared Allen talked to the media after their shoot around, saying that. J.B. Biggerstaff did a lot for this organization, talking about the 99 wins over two seasons, talking about how they were able to get to the postseason for the first time without LeBron James in over 30 years, and just the aura and the culture that he brought to this organization is something that none of the players take for granted, and Jared Allen said there might be a little more oomph in this game because... To be fair, the reason you get rid of a head coach is because you think that there is room to grow and improve. And he and the other Cavaliers want to show that to J.E. Bickerstaff. And he hopes that J.E. Bickerstaff comes with another little bit of oomph, too, uh, to make this a competition tonight with the Pistons versus the Cavs. But also, we got to talk to Ty Jerome as well. And we talked about that three-speed offense. We talked about the pace a little bit earlier. Ty Jerome says that he thinks that this Cavs team could be impossible to beat if they can play controlled pace right that means getting to their spots getting open shots and playing their game the three speeds that we talked about a little bit earlier the two things that I noticed from just watching shoot around that I wanted to take away was that Evan Mobley and Darius Garland were not only going through Darius Garland's post-practice uh, three-point regiment, but they were also working on pick and pops for Evan Mobley behind the arc, something that we're going to want to see a lot more of this season. And Isaac Okoro went through his own three-point workout, but it was really, really strict, right? It was you have to be at each spot, make five three-pointers in a row, all switches before being able to make and move to the next spot. It was really interesting to see, especially when you think about how hard these trainers were pushing him. Anything that touched the rim, start over. 